Oh, hi, great to have you here. Today, I'm going to show you the difference between subject and object sentences. Hi, great to have you here. Now, today I want to talk about subject and object sentences with you. Don't worry, this is all very, very easy. First, let's start with the things that you already know. You already know that many questions need an auxiliary verb. In German we call it Hilfsverb. For example, let's take a look at the following sentences. Why don't you come with us? So we have the question word, why, and we have the don't as, or do not as an auxiliary verb. Also, who has to go early? We have a question word, who, and the has to. And also, when can you clean the room? So, we have a question word, and we have an auxiliary, like can. Maybe you're asking yourself now, what about questions with to be? Hmm, good question. Let's look at that. Where is Sarah? There is a verb, but it's not an auxiliary verb. It's a full verb. Why are you late? The same thing. We've got a verb, are, but not a full verb. But don't, ver uh, don't worry about that. To be never takes an auxiliary. So actually, this is nothing new for you. Now, what's the new thing that I've been talking about? Well, wait a second. Very, very easy. We can use who and that to ask for subject or an object. Ooh, that's not complicated. Don't worry. Let's take a look. Who misses you? In German we say wer vermisst dich. But we can change the sentence just a little bit. And then it is, who do you miss? Wen vermisst du? Spot the difference? Let's look at a few extra examples. Let's look at subject questions first. What happens on Saturday? Who goes sailing with Abby? So, with subject questions, you ask for the subject of a sentence. Obviously. In German, we can say Subjektfragen sind wer oder was Fragen. Und sie werden ohne du oder das gebildet. So we can really say that you don't need a do or does for subject questions. Let's look at the object questions next. Who does Sam ask about clubs? Who does Sam ask? 
What does Lucy have to find? What does she have to find? So, again, it's really simple. Object questions ask for the object of a sentence. In German we say, Objektfragen sind wen, wem oder was fragen. And if you're asking for the object, you need a do or does. Sie werden also mit do oder das gebildet. Well, we're almost at the end now. So you're doing great. But there is one small thing. Let's look at the two examples that come. Who does Sc Dad Skype with? And what school do they go to? What's so special about that? Here we have got prepositions. And the prepositions go at the end of the sentence. So, gehört zum Verb eine Präposition, steht sie am Ende des Satzes. So, um, dad skypes with Jack. So, who does dad skype with? What school do they go to? They go to Plimstock School. Okay? Thanks very much for watching. I hope that helped. Have a great day and stay safe.